is a representation of a healthy myobium gland. <coughs> this is the palpebral conjunctiva, and this is the myobium gland. The myobium gland, you can see, is really composed of a lot of little cini, but they don't look like that. They look more like this. Now I'm looking through the palpebral conjunctiva, and this is what you see with your microscope. There's the Yersini, tiny, tiny little duct. There's a, a bit of tissue between, and there's another one. Each Yersini can be looked upon as a little gland in itself. If it gets blocked, then, as it secretes mabum, it will expand and balloon out. If it's starved of um, nutrients or strangled by some toxic substance, then it will shrivel, okay? And that will make the mabomium gland twist and turn. And if it drops out, you see a paler area, a cine at the lower part are damaged, you get a tiny notch. Eyelid margin notching occurs in three ways. Dimpling, where the orifice at the lid margin edge is sunk. Posterior notching, where the conjunctiva backs into the orifice. And full thickness notching. So in a healthy meibomium gland, all the acini line up and are equal, or very nearly equal. In a diseased meibomium gland, each acini stands on its own and can either dilate if the ductule gets blocked, or it can be very small.